Сложился поезд просто. Там он что-то горит. Офигеть. Просто столбы все рухнуло. Вагоны повалились. Это вообще. Что теперь? А руки? А руки Biden's trap in Ukraine, fear of escalation and promise of support collide. Foreign policy. Ukraine's problems go beyond a simple lack of resources. The recent fight over the US aid package demonstrates the strategic paradox that characterizes Joe Biden's Ukraine strategy. On the one hand, he promised that the commitment to Ukraine will not weaken and that US support will be provided as long as needed. At the same time, the Biden administration has consistently expressed concern about escalation and the prospect of direct confrontation with nuclear Russia, rights foreign policy. Both goals are laudable, but taken together, they are increasingly working towards different results. Eventually, Biden's balancing act will become impossible, the article says. It is noted that the Biden administration's strategy for Ukraine is based on the idea that Kyiv, with the support of the collective power of the West, has time on its side. After Ukraine repelled the initial Russian invasion, this turned out to be true. With the situation seemingly turning into Ukraine's favor, Biden believed that Kyiv would not be harmed by precautions, including limiting the types of weapons Ukraine receives and the targets for strikes. Now, according to the authors, the assumption that time will be on Ukraine's side is looking increasingly dubious. Russia is rebuilding its military much faster than initial estimates and its armed forces are now larger than before the war. Despite the sanctions, the Russian economy showed modest growth in 2023 and is well positioned to do so again this year. On the other hand, Ukraine's strategic position is becoming increasingly dangerous. Lacking weapons and ammunition, the Ukrainian armed forces were forced to give up ground at the front while Russia achieved its most significant gains since July 2022 and is said to be preparing for a summer offensive. Even though American weapons are now arriving again in Ukraine, it will take time for them to reach the front. Meanwhile, Ukraine is bleeding. Perhaps even more pressing than the military situation are the political dynamics of the war. A year and a half ago, we wrote that the United States has more patience to support Ukraine than many commentators believed at the time. However, it cannot be denied that any future assistance Ukraine faces significant obstacles. Future aid to Ukraine may depend on who wins the US election. The authors write, they add the war in Ukraine may look particularly grim now, but the outcome of the conflict is far from certain. If Ukraine wants to regain its lost operational momentum, it will need more equipment and ammunition. Thanks to the latest aid packages, Ukraine has the resources to receive them. But more importantly, Ukraine and its Western backers will also need to change their overall approach. Ukraine can no longer afford to simply wait out the Russians. Instead, you will need to go on the offensive. For the Biden administration, however, taking such a risk would mean abandoning one of the pillars of its strategy of the last two years, choosing a single path and accepting the potentially escalatory consequences that may arise. This is a difficult choice, but not doing so could be even riskier, journalists emphasize. North Korean leader, we need to prepare for a nuclear war. North Korea is preparing for nuclear war by intensively building up its strategic deterrent. It is obliged to do this by the recent situation in the sphere of global security. According to the local news agency KCNA, this statement was made by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un during a visit to the North Korean defense industry enterprise, which is considered the leading one. Kim Jong-un noted that the need to build up overwhelming forces to deter nuclear war will have to be even more seriously recognized in response to the state security situation that has arisen due to the reckless machinations of military confrontation on the part of enemies, said in a media report. According to the North Korean leader, Pyongyang needs to prepare for a nuclear war so that the enemy does not dare to play with fire. He believes that, having made sure of the full combat readiness of the North Korean armed forces, the enemy will fear a direct military clash with them. 
Kim Jong-un notes that the nuclear weapon is an effective deterrent to war. During his visit to the defense enterprise, the North Korean leader carefully examined its production activities. The North Korean military also test-launched a ballistic missile equipped with a new navigation system. It was this test that was the purpose of the launch, which was organized by the country's main rocket directorate. The launch of the missile was observed by Chairman of State Affairs of the North Korea, Kim Jong-un. The situation on the Korean peninsula is more dangerous than it has been at any time since early June 1950. That may sound overly dramatic, but it is believed that, like his grandfather in 1950, Kim Jong-un has made a strategic decision to go to war. We do not know when or how Kim plans to pull the trigger, but the danger is already far beyond the routine warnings in Washington, Seoul and Tokyo about Pyongyang's provocations.